If you have a small YouTube channel, one of the best and fastest ways to grow is to learn exactly how to optimize your videos for search. Back in 2018, I discovered various tools and strategies that enabled me to monetize my channel really quickly. And I now receive a four-figure monthly sum from YouTube AdSense. So today I'm going to share some of those tools and strategies with you, including three of what I think are the best YouTube keyword research tools. As the second most popular search engine next to Google, YouTube is where users go to find solutions to their problems and answers to their questions. Researching and adding relevant keywords to your video title not only helps YouTube understand what your video is about, but it also helps to serve your video to the correct audience. However, there's much more to keyword research than basic phrasing, as I'm about to show you. So let's make a start by having a look at the first of my favorite keyword research tools, which is YouTube's autocomplete. This is such a powerful search tool because it provides valuable insights into the most popular search queries. Your target audience is actually typing into this search bar here. So I'm going to place my cursor in the search bar. And let's say I want to create a video about Canva animations. So if I start typing Canva animation, Underneath, I already have 14 of the most popular search queries related to Canva animation. Okay, so that's a great start. So I think I'm going to go down to Canva animation timing and have a deeper dive into this keyword. And to help me do this, I'm going to use my second favorite keyword research tool, which is called Keywords Everywhere. It's a freemium browse extension, which is available for Google Chrome. Firefox and Edge. And it's going to help me understand the level of interest and competition for my search terms. So Canva animation timing. If you don't have keywords everywhere already, type this URL into your browser. I'll leave the link in the description underneath this video. So type in keywordseverywhere.com and then click on start here. You'll see that there is a paid version and a free version, but you're going to need the paid version because that's going to give you the YouTube metrics that you need. So scroll down this page and you'll see that the first paid plan starts at just £1.25 per month if paid annually, which I think is a small price to pay for such valuable information. Next, you're going to click on subscription plans. So let's click on bronze to buy a bronze plan. Click next to install the extension for Chrome, Firefox or Edge. Once you've installed the extension, you need to sign up for an API key. So click this link here, type in your email address that you use to sign up to Keywords Everywhere. Place a tick in this box here to agree the terms of service and privacy policy. You don't have to agree to sign up to the monthly newsletter. So place a tick in there if you want to, if not, leave it blank. And then click email me the API key. Find the email that says your keywords everywhere API key. And then click this link here to access your API key. Here it is. So just click on the copy button here to copy it. Next, ensure you have the keywords everywhere little button pinned to your toolbar. So click on this funny little image here, which is the list of extensions that you have and make sure you put a pin next to keywords everywhere. So it'll probably look like this and you just want to click on the little pin so that it turns blue and you have the keywords everywhere extension on your toolbar. So you want to click on the extension, click settings. And then you need to paste that API key into the box right here. And then you need to validate it by clicking this button here. And here I can see my API key is now validated. The next thing you want to do is select your country if you just want search data from one particular country. But I would suggest you leave it at global. You can change your currency here. So I've got mine set to British pounds. Next, you want to select which metrics you want to see. So you want to make sure that all of these are toggled to the on position. Select a highlight color if you want. Scroll down and select the websites where you want keywords everywhere to show up. So I've selected Google Search, Google Search Console, 
Keyword Planner, Google Analytics, YouTube Trends, YouTube. I have switched off Bing, Yahoo, Amazon, eBay, Etsy, and all the rest because I'm not really interested in those, but you can switch those on if, say, for instance, you have an Etsy shop or an eBay shop, so you can toggle those on and off. Next, you want to toggle all of these on and go through the miscellaneous settings as well. And that is all that you need to do except purchase your first lot of credits because you need credits to use keywords everywhere. So go back up to your toolbar and click on the Chrome extension and then you'll be able to purchase your credits at the bottom here. I've already got some credits left, but when I run out, I'll just click here to purchase some more. So going back to YouTube, here's how you're going to use keywords everywhere. You're going to type in your keyword or phrase again in the search bar. So I'm going to type in Canva animation timing. And underneath the search bar, I can now see that there is a search volume of 390 per month of this particular keyword or phrase. And I've got it right here as well, 390 per month. So that is a good amount. If I look over on the right hand side of my screen, I've got this incredibly handy search insights box, which will tell me at the minute that the ranking difficulty is 33 out of 100. So really you should be looking for anything below 50. So 33 tells me that it's perfectly possible for me to rank a video for that particular search term. It also shows me the top channel, which is ranking for this search term, which is my friend, Darren Meredith. So kudos to you, Darren. He is actually my Canva verified expert buddy. Underneath this box, you will also find the general trend on YouTube for this search term. So over a 12 month period, I can see that there's been a lot of interest in this particular keyword, particularly there's been a spike here, which was September 2023. So that shows me that people are still really interested in this keyword phrase. So that's worth bearing in mind. So already I'm putting together a picture of a keyword that's got enough search volume to make a video about, but it's not overly competitive. What will really help me now to complete the picture is the third tool, which I highly recommend you use, and that is TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is another browser extension that integrates with your YouTube channel. I've been using it for a long time now, and I couldn't have done without it. Under the Features tab, you will find all the tools you need to grow your channel, the most important of which is the SEO Studio and Keyword Explorer. There is a free version of TubeBuddy, which you can download for free using this clickable link here. However, I do recommend that if you're serious about growing your channel, you subscribe to one of the paid plans. As you can see, there are three, Pro, Legend and Enterprise. I currently have the Pro version. Take advantage of TubeBuddy's Black Friday deal, which is giving you 40% off all licenses. So you could sign up to the pro account for one year and get 40% off that price. So I'll leave a link below the video so you can grab the offer now, but don't leave it too long because this offer expires on the 29th of November. Going back to the YouTube homepage, you can access the TubeBuddy features by clicking on this little tab here at the top or go to your YouTube studio and you'll see a clickable button right here or click on this little tab here to pull out the drawer of features. Now, what you want to do is click on Keyword Explorer. And again, you're going to type in that keyword phrase that you think you're going to target. So for me, that was Canva animation timing and then click on Explore. Now, first things first, uh, you will be given a summary of the overall score, which is fair. It's not good, but it's not bad either. You want to make sure that you have the unweighted tab selected and that isn't available for free accounts. So you will need to upgrade to a pro account. Underneath this, you'll find the score analysis. And this is where you're going to find some incredibly helpful data. So first of all is search volume. Looking across, I can see it's not brilliant. It's verging on poor. 
But I mustn't forget that my Keywords Everywhere tool told me that there were 390 searches per month. So there is still search traffic. Underneath is the competition score. Now, ideally, you want the little dial to be in the green or yellow section because it shows me that the competition for this particular keyword isn't bad. And in this case, it really is excellent. And that means I could potentially get my video to rank quite highly. Optimization strength tells me how well optimized the top 20 videos are for this search term. The score is excellent at the minute. So provided I optimize my video properly, again, I could get my video to rank for this search term. Underneath that are the number of videos in search results. And this is really very good. 19.2 thousand videos is not a bad number at all. What you don't want is for this figure to be in the upper thousands or even millions because there are thousands, if not millions of videos all vying to rank for the same search term. So make sure this is as low as possible. There's no data for monthly searches, but that doesn't matter. Over on the right hand side of my screen, I've got some clickable tabs here. YouTube, Google, Video Topics, Common Tab Tags. Under YouTube, this is showing me the interest in my keyword over 30 days or 12 months. So over 30 days, there's been a definite spike in interest in that keyword. And that happened on the 13th of November. So that was very recent. If I click on 12 months, that tells me that there has definitely been interest throughout the year in this particular keyword. There's been a big spike. When was that? 17th to the 23rd of September. So that was very recent. So that is telling me that this keyword is well worth targeting because there's still a lot of interest. And don't forget, Google does own YouTube and you can still get your YouTube videos ranked on Google. Over the 12 month period, there's been a lot of interest. And if I look over the far right hand side, there is an upward trajectory, which tells me that there's an increased interest in this keyword. So that's a really valuable insight. Let's have a look at 30 days. Yep, 30 days, there's still good interest. So all in all, this is telling me that Canva animation timing is still a good keyword phrase to use. So what you need to do now is make sure that you use this keyword phrase in your YouTube video title. And as a top pro tip, make sure your keyword comes as close as possible to the start of your title. I do appreciate that this is a lot of information to take in and understand all in one go, but I promise you that once you've done it a couple of times, it will become second nature. My final tip would be to Always check your YouTube analytics because it gives you some really valuable information about what's working for your YouTube channel and what is not. So you can have a really deep dive and find out exactly what your audience really loves to watch and then create more of that type of content. Next up, check out this video, which shows you exactly how to use YouTube's new Create app, which is free and easy to use and helps you make truly visually stunning videos that your audience will really enjoy watching. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.